Hi again, this is Mr. Petchmo, and today we're going to look at the matching pairs activity in Nearpod. So in order to get to there, I'm going to add a new slide and go to add activity and find matching pairs. Now for, for the most part, this can be as simple or as complex as you need. So you would type in your directions here, um, match the pairs, something simple. Again, you can add a timer for this activity, but it depends on how many matching pairs you want. If you want them to hustle, you can give them a short timer. Um, but add your pair here. This is really easy. I'm just going to do a simple one for our sample. I'm going to do the word apple, and then I'm going to add an image. And I'm going to do a Google search for apple. Now, this comes up with several options. And this is, a, this is an issue that you're going to run into. I'm going to select this apple. But that apple is not compatible. So it's it's kind of strange how it works, but it has to be one of these formats. And you don't get to see that when you do your Google search right through here. So it's kind of tricky, but th there will be options here that are not blocked. I know this one was available, so I'm just going to click on that one now. I just wanted you to see what you're going to run into now and then. And a certain image is not being available. So I'm going to hit done. Oops, I should have hit add another pair. Speaking of pair, mm, see if that one works. Yep, that one works. Add another pair. Add an image. Now, you can do this in a lot of different ways. So this is just my sample of how to do this skill. You could make um, parts of speech. You could make uh, nouns and verbs. You could make parts of a cell. You could do um, fractions, mixed numbers. You can do a lot of things with this, not just the simple apple, pear, orange that I'm showing you. Each, oh, I forgot to capitalize that. I need to capitalize that when I get back. Try to be consistent and do real pictures. If I can now right here, I can just go back there and edit it right there. And there, I have made my matching pairs. Now what the kids get to see is this. So hit the, that preview button and the kids will get to see this. They'll get the directions that are collapsible. You click that blue arrow and it collapses the directions. So now the kids will go on and match the two items and if they get it right, they get the green check mark. But if they get it wrong, they get the red X and they get to try again. This is kind of a really cool tool and um, really quite popular. Well done, five tries. So it tells you how many tries it took them to get the correct answer. So very cool. That's it, short and sweet, how to do matching pairs. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.